Right, hi everyone. Um, okay, so welcome to the new release on my YouTube channel. All right. Um, okay, so in today's video, I'll be very short, right? Um, so I'll just be mentioning some few, probably out of the seven common mistakes that people they make in technicals, right? Um, I'll probably mention say three or four i'll see right um so I'll just be mentioning those mistakes that most people they make in their technicals right and yeah you can probably if you do make the same mistake again you can go and fix them right um and if you are new into the channel please just like subscribe into this video right so that will help this video to get to many people um okay so i didn't really write these down i wrote them down as in um physical on the paper but i didn't type them down i thought of doing so but i like nope right um okay so the first mistake that people they make is one of the first right not having a specific time frames right i've been in, th in this industry for quite some time and um, I've noticed or probably have noted that this is one of the biggest mistakes that people they, they make. They don't have specific time frames, right? They don't have specific time frames. So um I personally I recommend that you can have two or three time frames, not more than that, but also you cannot have one time frame. Right. That is very important. Um then that it that comes to also um having like understanding internal structure and external structure most people they can't they can't differentiate that right you should know which structure are you like um which structure are you in now right is it internal or external then you know that okay this is my higher time frame and this is my lower time frame right because if you don't know those You'll just be jumping in between time frames and you'll always be looking for what you're looking for. You'll be forcing things. You'll go to one hour, you'll go to 15 minutes, you go to 10 minutes, you go to weekly, just to force that move. You should have a, a fix, like fixed, fixed time frames. All right. So this is most of the even ask you which time frame do you use? I'm sure if um, I'm sure um probably among the people that will be watching this video. There are some people that have asked me before which time frame do you use? It's not the matter of which time frame do you use, it's the matter of which time frame did you choose to use, right? For an example, um one can you choose for our is it their higher time frame, right? So this this will be the external structure, right? Then one hour will be their um lower time frame or immediate time frame like the middle time frame. Then this will be internally, right? You can just say internally. Then you you'll pro probably they will have ten minutes. Um, this will be entry time frames. You see, this is well defined well defined, and we stick to this right this is just an example by the way so you stick to this because if you don't have and you can even probably just have this one and 15 minutes time frame i'm just making examples here right so don't now adopt this um this year right but you need to have a specific fixed time frame right because the trend or the the um the way the like the, the market the way it moves it will always be bearish somewhere and bullish somewhere don't think that all time frames should be bearish for you to sell no right they don't need to all be bearish before you sell um you can have something of this kind this is let's let's say this is your high time frame so this is your external structure this is bullish overall but you'll have your Internal structure is bullish also here, then it switches bearish. 
the next structure is what is barely is bearish, then it switches bullish again, right? So this should be defined on which time frames do you trade this? This is external structure, right? So this is a product structure for external structure, right? External structure, then internal structure is still, still the same thing, right? Product of structure, product of structure. You see, so you should have a well defined time frame. Is that these are my time frames, and you stick to them. You know that okay, my time frame is this one. This is my it's bullish here. This is my lower time frame. This is my internal structure. Um, it's my external structure. If if this is not well defined, it doesn't matter what you do. We'll always have issues. We'll be just hopping, um, from one thing to another, right? So that is very important. That is one of them probably costly common mistakes that I've seen in many, many traders, right? And it also comes to this one also, are you a day trader or are you a swing trader? You can be a day trader and a short-term um, swing trader, right? Or you can be a scalper and a day trader, but you cannot be a scalper and a long-term swing trader. It, it, like, it doesn't go together. Right. Sometimes people are scalping. Sometimes they are holding. You see, so it should be well defined that okay, I'm a swing trader, day trader. I'm a position trader and a swing trader. You cannot be a position trader and a day trader. Right. Um. Yeah. So it it, it comes is it all draws to one thing. This one that here we should have a specific time frames. Right. Um, because if you like, for example, you cannot be a, a long-term, um, swing trader and be taking entries on 10 minutes, five minutes, even I think 15 minutes also probably can get on 15 minutes entries, but remember that you are long-term, um, swing trader. So that means, you know, your time frames that, okay, these are my time frames. Imagine this is your high time frame. Your high time frame is M15. And your lower time frame, it's five minutes, and you say a swing trade. It does like doesn't add up. You see, so these they should be well defined. If they are not well defined, it's like running a company, but you don't know what service are you providing, right? And within within that service, you should know that okay, this like for example, say you're in what um food business, right? There are types of food that are there. You don't need to sell everything. You know your 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 market. You know your like the one that you specialize in, right? So it's true also with this. So now we have people that they then they go around copying swing traders, but the person they take trader and all that. That's just confusion. You just become yourself. So make sure that your trading is well defined, well defined, right? Time frames. Um, okay, I'll not be mentioning all of these, right? I will just be mentioning probably three out of the seven, right? But if you're interested in a well detailed um course and all that, where you find all of these more detailed, more stretched, um, yeah, I do offer a, a full course mentorship, um, yeah, all that. But you can just find the link just below, right? You can also find my um Instagram page, right? All those are there. Um, actually, this month I'm running a promotion of uh ten percent off until the end of this month. Um, right. Okay, so that was, and this will lead you to this. You just be an analyst, and you're not. You, you, it, it would be very frustrating because you're not. Um, as I've said, that the market is bearish and and bullish in. In, in in like you can never find a market that is is bullish in all time frames never let's let's look at the time frames right oh, these are all the time frames you cannot find one that is all of these time frames it's a lie right you cannot find that okay it's bullish in all this time from inspiration no so just stick to your trading don't be copying others Right, one of the biggest mistakes that I've made from was it was not even the the beginning. At that time, I was around for quite some time. 
I was checking these other guys that were pushing traders. Like they will hold for eight months, a year, or so. Right. So I'll go to their chat, like check them out. Like, okay, they are bearish in this. Um, they are bearish for the next what eight months and all yeah. So I'll be trying to sell that and it, it will just go opposite. It will just go opposite. Right, because I'll always be looking for selling opportunities in that. Like for example, we'll say, let's look at this year. Right. So such guys will be bullish from here. Right. So you are always looking to buy, to buy, to buy. But the price was bearish for you. It was bullish again. It was bearish. It was bullish, bearish, bullish. You see, um, this year, I think, but okay, it was not actually this one exactly, but it was also this one. I actually sent, sent, sent this to um one of my friends. is not my student, but I sent, I sent this to him. Just after the price broke this, drug, it broke this. Like, okay, we're coming this side. This is like how many pips? This is plus 300 pips. That is way more than good enough for me. All right. Now imagine, uh, like I'm trying to buy here because the guy overall is buying. I always looking for buys here and all that. That's what mistake. That's a mistake that people they make. Okay. I think I've overstayed on this point. The second one is trading on weak structures. Right. Um. Okay, this one I'll not do much on it. Um, because yeah, it's, it's one of those that is a bit sensitive, so it's part of the course. All of these are part of the course, but of course I've stretched them and explained them in detail, and also gave them solutions in each and um and every mistake of this. But here I'm just mentioning them, right? Um, so yeah, they trade on work structure. Okay, so just check this one, right? Check this closely. We have um NZUSD. Look at this. Okay, so if, if you've been around, you, you know that NZUSD and AUDUSD, they kind of move almost the same. Right, so here with what adjustment? Right, adjustment. So this was solid for me. If you can, I think you can go and check the free telegram group. You'll find that I sent this. It was straight from here to here, exactly. I also search, I actually shared it on the mentorship group, then I shared it on the um free telegram channel after they spread out. I think at the time it was somewhere here. Or somewhere here. Alright, so anyway, look at this adjustment, right? For me, this is a solid setup. This is a strong structure. Right. From there, I know that well, it's either I can pull back until here or pull back until here. I don't care. I just need. I don't need the whole thing anyway. Of course, I can hold the whole thing, but I just need probably, let me just say, see. Um, yeah, 200 pips, like this way enough, then I pull back, then I can take it again. Right. Now, that is the adjustment. This one, it was not a strong structure because it didn't have adjustment. You see, it didn't go above this. As much as it played out, but it didn't go above this here. Right. Um, yeah, this, this is upset. I'll not do much on, on it. So this one, not a strong section. Yes, it played out. Remember that the market, it doesn't always need to go your way. It doesn't. Right. I, I'll probably explain this some other day. You don't need like hundred percent strategy. You just need like a well mechanical process that you can follow. That's just that. Right. Um, which one can I mention again? Let's see here. Okay. Um, I think there is one that I made a mistake. I actually saw it later that that was a weak structure. It was not a strong structure. Right. Was it this one or Euro NZD? Right. Um. Okay. I'm. I'm. I. I keep seeing all these strong structures here, but I'm looking for that weak structure specifically that one. But yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, like most people, they, they make this mistake of trading. Oh, yes, this is one of them. This year, you can, I'll probably share it on the free Telegram channel. 
the price it was here i was like the price was going to go where is my analysis let me see i should have it here um where is it uh, uh, i tilted it ah uh, okay it's fine but i shared it on the um on the mentorship group right it was tuesday last week so the price it was okay let me just check one hour oh yes 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 so at that time the price it was here it was here exactly it was here i uh, like the price was going to go above this and this is a strong structure if the price did this this will be a weak structure but i know people they sold here all right and the price is kind of doing that exactly <laughs> try this one it can even be your signal right um so this is strong structure. so knowing that's why market structure is very important knowing market structure because you want to avoid this weak structure this is what happens when you trade with structure. The price is going to, will may end up to a direction, but you will have taken losses because if you sold here, we're selling here, coming here. The price did this. The price will do this. It end up in your direction, but because you were trading a weak structure, right? You were trading weak structure. Um, yeah, this one I will not do much on it. After that, in the course, I explain this in details these mistakes and also to avoid them how to take advantage of them right um then the last one that i'll be mentioning is wrong entries all right wrong entries most people let me tell you most people what they want to do they want to enter here they want to enter here they want to enter here that's what most people they, they want to do right um who i want to share something where was it i think it was i'm not sure if i tilted it let me just check it here i don't think it was here right so most people they want to i hope this is the one no it's not most people they want to enter at the tip of the market right those are wrong entries. You find that the, the, the analysis is correct, but because most people they want to enter just at the tip of the market. No, not this one. But yeah, anyway, I don't think I'll find that. I think I tilted it. Um let me just go to let me oh yeah, we're here anyway. Let's just come here. Right. Um So most people, they want to enter at the tip of the market. You don't need to enter the tip of the market. You can wait for the reaction. Look here. Right. Most people, they want to enter here. You can even miss all of this and still catch this one. Right. So most people, they want to... Now, the thing is, if you want to enter, enter the tip... Uh, let me just do this. Ba, 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 ba right so if you want to enter, enter the tip you'll always be taking losses first before you actually get um a right entry right you'll always be taking losses first because most people they want to enter now how do you know that this point is not this one how do you know that okay this product the price is still going to do this right so they always that's why i always tell my student I would say this, this is probably just take it, always wait for the direction of the price. Before the price changes, there's something, the price will always react. I'll not tell you what kind of reaction does it um give, but it's one of the things that I always, always emphasize to my, to my guys that wait for the direction of the price. Don't just enter. Right. The wrong entries, early entries. Right. Then the second one is they want to enter at the move, right? Like for example, they are seeing the price coming downside. So they want to, the moment the price, okay, let's go to, to the chat. Um, right, so the moment they see the price running, they want to enter, 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 because they're thinking the price will, li will leave, right? Question is, where is the price? Where is it? 
and you'll find that every time you do that, you'll always burn. If not always, most of the time. If you want to end at just the moment the price is running, you you'll always get burned. Right, because you have to ask where is the price? Like where is it? If you end, this is a break of structure. Just because the price is running doesn't mean that, the, of course, the price can still do this. The price can do anything, right? But this is a break of structure. After the break of structure, what do you expect? We expect a pullback. After the break of structure, what do you expect a pullback? Okay, now we're in this area, so it might be changing, right? So you have to always know where, like, where is the price? Because most people they just enter enter then sometimes the price the price will, will go to that direction then most of the time they, they'll be losing and they'll be thinking but um yeah like why like why is this happening now why didn't it happen before and all that that is like a trading you that can sustain you focus on a process it's like driving when you're driving you follow a step-by-step step -step process set a car gear number one and all that you don't just press anything, then the car is moving. That is lucky trading. Right. Then uh let me just mention this also, but I'll not even touch it. That one, it's oh it's it's very important. Um not having a trading plan. Right. But um, yeah, these are some of the common mistakes that people they make, even though trading plans more on psychology also. Um and as I've said that in the course we discuss this fully and all that, how do you avoid them? How to um take advantage of them? Like for example, investment this year used to yeah it used to do me somehow, but now I I know how to take advantage of it, right? But yeah, okay, let's just at this the one that I've mentioned. Um, do your own study, find out how can you avoid them, how can you take advantage of them and all that, right? Because if you keep on doing the same thing, this year will end, then the other one will end, and you'll always be rotating on the same thing until the so you see people give a, um giving up. Right. Uh okay. I trust you enjoy this video. Now, as I've said that, um, if you're interested in the course, a full detailed course, yeah, you can join us. Um I'll leave the link down below of the free telegram group, the Instagram and all that. And also, as I've said, that if you are new, please just subscribe into this channel. Let's get this channel into 10K before the end of this year. I'll definitely, definitely be giving, Um, I'll be doing some giveaway when we get into that number. I think the first one, it should it, it will be 5K. I'll be doing some few giveaways. Then definitely on 100K, I mean, 10k i'll be giving a lot of i'll be doing a lot of giveaways so please just leave your your comment let me know on which uh what did you learn um what would you like me to share more on and all that right let's meet when we meet again